Today's destination is Pride Park, home to Derby County Football Club, or as some people like to call them, the Rams. Today's game is a League One fixture between Derby County and Exeter City, who sit in very similar positions in the league. It's quite incredible actually when you take into consideration Exeter City got promoted from League Two last season and Derby County got relegated from the Championship last season. Despite this being a League One fixture, both sides are two very well supported clubs. As we all know, Derby County are prob probably too big to be in League One, but bad ownership has made them sink to England's third tier. But most of their fans still stick with them as they have been averaging around 27,000 people through the turnstiles each week at Pride Park this season. Exeter City have a seven hour round trip to get to Derby County on this Tuesday night but over 1,100 loyal fans are making the journey up to the East Midlands tonight which is absolutely incredible. But as you guys know I am a West Bromwich Albion fan but I do like to go to watch neutral football games. When I go to watch neutral football games I usually do like to stick with the non-league but I'm going to Pride Park today with a good mate of mine and I'm really looking forward to it. I did visit Pride Park last season with West Brom and as a West Brom fan I do not have good memories of that day as you guys turned us over and beat us 1-0 but as a West Brom fan I do have a bit of interest in tonight's game as I get the chance to see some ex-West Brom players in action. Uh, Curtis Davis and James Chester currently play for Derby County and Izzy Brown and Raheem Harper both play for Exeter City. Some of those players left me with better thoughts about them than others but regardless I'm really looking forward to seeing how they're all getting on. If we could hit 50 likes on today's video that would be absolutely fantastic and if you enjoyed today's video make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Midlands football content. I'll see you at Pride Park. the ground now I do have to say it's quite a nice ground uh, a lot bigger than I re remember hopefully it should be a good night of football
result and despite the scoreline I thought that was quite a good half of football and a half of football I thought Exeter fully uh, dominated uh, they certainly had more of the ball and more chances Derby County it's clear to me that uh, their tactics are to sit back and try hit Exeter on the counter attack but it hasn't worked for them so far Derby have defended well Exeter have loaded a lot of crosses into the box but uh, the Derby player always seems to be the first man to the ball the atmosphere here at Bride Park tonight has been fantastic so far uh, for both Exeter and Derby County fans. Really enjoyed that first half. Hopefully we can get a goal in the second half. actually the day after the game now and the game did finish nil nil but despite the scoreline I actually really did enjoy my evening at Pride Park. It was mad to see the contrast in emotions after a nil nil draw. You know Derby fans were uh, re really angry with their team they was booing their team off at full time compared to Exeter City fans who stayed behind after the game clapped their players off the pitch and sung their hearts out. I thought Derby were quite poor last night though, to be fair. Uh, they won't get promoted playing like that. They never really look like scoring a goal. And I think that's what happens when you play without a recognised number nine. Fair play to Exeter City fans. There was quality last night. I was actually very pleasantly surprised 
by the away following. You know, the atmosphere in that away end was absolutely fantastic. They sung their hearts out from minute one to minute 90. And, you know, um, to bring in away following to Pride Park like that after on a Tuesday night with a seven hour round trip is absolutely fantastic. You know, they nearly sold out the end. And as I say, the atmosphere was really good. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Thank you for watching until the end and I'll see you in the next video, guys.